Okay, she is performing a sweeping technique um, as Laura is going through external rotation. So they're working on the rotator cuff, um, exposing any sort of adhesions in the fascia. Finding the thing that reproduces the pain, the problem, the injury, and then applying the instruments makes so much difference. A lot of our throwers end up getting some bicep pain or lateral bicep pain. So we're just gonna have her kind of come from flexion down to an extended position, and we're just gonna sweep right through. And then of course I can come through here and use and pivot through the tissue. I can use two hands. I can come both ways. I can come back this way. Again, I'm gonna be scooping away, scoop it and brush it. I can use this, this end, find that part that fits the best, and I can come over here and use the bump and come in a different way. Working on thenar eminence, and he can contract, curl a little bit, extend a little bit, go back and forth. And you're already doing a combination of scooping and sweeping. Active range of motion and application of the of the instruments. They're using gara and you know working the soft tissue restrictions. She's having her issue right on top. I can come through here. This nicely fits the top of her shoulder, but if this was too big, I could easily turn and use the smaller diameter. Come through and you'll see. This fits right around his pec nicely. This end in this bump, I can come right around to the side. There you yeah. go. I can feel the grittiness okay. so too. It's, so you're in a comfortable position. What's that view okay. contract? And so if oh, I know, can feel pain, it more when I contract. Weakness, whatever it is, and they Mike's pivoting through there, sweeping and pivoting through there with the tissue that's loaded. I feel her gliding the tool yes, over my muscles. Um, yeah. Um, but it's not painful. It's very comfortable. And then round her back. And as she does that, we're going to continue to scoop. The fact that we bring in stretch, that we bring in concentric, eccentric loads, isometric loads, that's going to bring the restrictions to the surface much easier to find. Even when you think that psoas is so deep. Okay, okay. she is using the sweeping method <laughs> and the gata tool to work on lateral epicondylitis. I could use the end of ala to do my half turns between each vertebrae. I feel like that I am not moving as much and the instrument's taking more of the pressure um, off of my finger. See, if I were to do trigger points on it, um, I wouldn't be as tired as much. Like, I feel like I could do this all day with her uh, and I don't have to move or adjust my position and I'm not tired as much either. You know, long, short strokes works real nice. He's going to get a little red and that's okay. You can use the instruments over clothes. And if you felt like the curve of Pico wasn't fitting her lateral, her lateral bundle, you know, you could easily switch to... and you apply Gavilan to each of the different body parts and ankles with motion and movement, three planes, etc., etc., and you are going to find the restrictions, release them, and make your patient your athlete damage.